Family meeting, we got an issue. The church's response to pornography over the last decade or so has had some missteps. And I, there's been some a few observations that I've had over the last few years that I just need to highlight because it's breaking my heart. Some of the, like just the, the tragedy of this whole situation and how we've addressed it in not good ways that has led a lot of people into hurt. So there are two big problems here. The first big problem is that although we've been good about speaking up about pornography in context to men, we've said, hey men, you know, you got to be aware of this. It's a distortion. It's a lie. It's perverted. You know, this is an issue that you're going to encounter. Unfortunately, sometimes, and I've observed this firsthand, We've used language that kind of tells men that it's no big deal because every guy experiences it, right? It's like, you're going to, you know, you're going to see pornography. The probability that you're going to watch it is really high. The probability that lots of guys in this room are going to watch it is really high. And you need to be aware because every man is going to battle with this or is going to watch pornography. I can say firsthand the fact that I, when I struggle with lust and I, and I've used the excuse, oh, well, you know, a lot of guys struggle with this. It's not a big deal. You know, I'm just one, the same as everybody else, right? If you're a guy, I'd ask you, have you used that same justification as well? Because I know I have. The second big problem is that we have not talked about pornography nearly enough, if at all, in context to women. So we've kind of shut that off for them. We've, t we've said this is like pretty much a hundred percent a men's issue. Women, you know, never need to deal with this. So, you know, at the youth group, they're doing something completely different when, well, men are having, you know, the, the, youth, the teen boys are having the pornography talk. The girls are talking about something else. You guys can tell me what you guys are talking about, um, in the comments down below. But I, the problem is, is that because girls are going to encounter pornography. It's just going to happen. They don't have the resources to deal with it. Meanwhile, men like from the age of 12, 13, 14, you know, pornography and is being talked about. It's like, hey, be aware of this. It's going to be an issue for girls. I just haven't seen that be the case. And based on kind of the videos that spurred this video on from TikTok, it seems like a lot of girls weren't told about the dangers of pornography and given some practical tools and resources in order to avoid it, break free from it. And so what that led, leads them to, and I've heard, I've heard numerous stories, so I'm just kind of relaying that to you here. Um, it leads them to shame. It leads them to places of suppression and saying, okay, look, you know, why do, you know, no, I guess no girls deal with this. It's just me and I'm all on my own. So kind of two different ends of the spectrum, right? So guys, it's like, oh, every guy does it. So it's kind of justifying me taking part in it. And for girls, it's like, I guess nobody does it, even though that's that's not true. But girls feel isolated and they're not given the resources necessary to actually combat it in a biblical way. Okay, so here's my humble submission in how we can maybe provide a little bit of a course correct for guys. And I, I've talked a lot about pornography on this channel and I never want guys to feel like, and I'm talking to guys here because I'm going to talk to girls in a second, but I never want guys to feel like, um, you know, the fact that so many guys struggle with pornography that gives them license to to, you know, partake in it, to watch it or, or just, you know, indulge in it because, you know, all the guys do it kind of thing. But I also don't want to be uncompassionate. I don't know if that's, that's a word, but to, to the struggle and the real, the real tension that's going on there. So, you know, I don't want to be like, you know, just, just you know, do, do what you gotta do and, you know, yell at people or whatever and not take into account the real challenge that it is for guys. So I, I want to, my goal is to establish a little bit of a balance. And so take the thought that a lot of guys do struggle with lust as more of a motivation to pour into your brothers and check up on them and be accountability for them and be a leader in that way and not to stoop to their level. Okay, that would be my messaging, okay, my kind of course correcting. I'm not saying that's perfect, but that's kind of where I, I land on this. We got to be pursuing holiness and not sinking to the level of the lowest common denominator. I don't know if that's the right analogy, but you know what I'm saying. So for girls, what are we going to do? I think we got to be more open about the fact 
that girls do struggle with pornography. I think older women in the church are going to need to do some catch up here. So for older men in the church, they've already experienced kind of pornography in the sense of maybe that was magazines, whether that was whatever, you know, whatever else during their growing up period. And now in the digital age, they're becoming more of a resource to the young men in their lives to help them break free from it because they know kind of what's going on. They're, a lot of them are um, aware of the whole situation and dynamic and how really toxic and, and distorted and perverted um, a lot of the online space can be. So they're, they're being more of a resource to the guys. For the girls, I think a lot of the older women that you would hope to be kind of a resource in that area, they haven't experienced pornography in this digital age to the degree where they can really help the younger women in the church. And so that's, that's a big issue, right? So as guys, I think we can help the girls out by becoming a little bit more vocal, by not singling it off to just, hey, this is the guy's struggle. This is, I'm trying to change my language on that. I'm trying to be um, more welcoming to to the girls that struggle in this area. I don't want, you know, I used to just be like, oh guys, it's, you know, this is, this is our thing because that was the messaging that I was given. But hearing so many of these girls come forward and say, hey, I struggle with this too. And yet nobody's talking to us about it. It breaks my heart because there's so much hurt. There's so much pain. There's so much shame there that just shouldn't, it shouldn't need to stay that way. Because when we enter sin, right, when we're in, we're stuck in a cycle of sin, it's not about, it's not about just convincing yourself that it's not a sin. So it's not just saying, oh, it's okay the way you are, or, you know, just chill. It's no big deal. But we need the resources and help to actually begin to break that cycle that begins with God that begins to um, coming to Christ if we're not already there but then from there it's having his power in his presence transform us from the inside out pouring into Christian community where people can come alongside us and say hey look I, I see you're, you're struggling with this or we can speak up about our own struggle creating those places of of curious and compassionate community that aren't immediately judgmental towards the people or condemning, but also aren't just going to be, oh, you know, it's all good. You know, boys will be boys or girls will be girls or any of that kind of thing, right? Because we need to be pursuing holiness. So if I could summarize this video, guys, if you hear that a lot of, you know, men struggle with pornography or lust, don't take that as license to partake or indulge in those things. Seek Christ, flee the things of the flesh, flee sexual immorality and pursue Christ. And for the girls that you feel like you're alone, you're you're caught in the cycle of sin, you feel isolated, I want you to know that we are with you, that we recognize that this is a struggle that you go through as well, but also that there is so much freedom in community and pouring into the one that has set us free and can lead us into victory. He's given you his power and his presence in your life so that you can overcome these things. I have plenty of videos about overcoming pornography. So if that's something you want to begin, I'd ask you to visit the playlist in the link in my bio and just begin by watching those videos. They'll give you some practical steps. And I think they're going to really begin you on the journey to freedom and victory in this area. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below and more particularly your experience with the church and how they've talked about pornography or in different Christian circles and how that's affected you in your life and maybe some of the things that you're learning and how you talk about it and encourage other believers in the faith. I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. It is because of you guys that I can make these videos that I'm so passionate about. So thank you for supporting my mission of helping people follow Jesus daily. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. God bless.